Today on Toy Shoes, an outlaw and a jokerized dick, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. They're a Death of the Family Nightwing, slash jokerized Nightwing, and of course, Bizarro from the DC Rebirth series. A little bit different take on Bizarro, you could say Bizarro and the Outlaws, Red Hood and the Outlaws, all that good stuff. Here's the barcode, of course, for both as well. They are starting to hit Target stores now, and I will have pre-order links down below if you'd like to get them. They should still be available on Amazon and the like. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Nightwing Joker, and DC Rebirth Bizarro. And here they both are out of the packaging. Now keep in mind, I just put Bizarro on a flight stand. He actually just comes with the regular stand, but he does look good floating there all Bizarro-like. Nightwing, yeah, let, let's, let's start with Nightwing. This is the third time we're getting this guy, basically. Don't forget DC Multiverse Black Stand right there. But this guy is specifically from the cover, and that's it. It wasn't a thing in the comics so he's just been jokerized for that one little cover moment yeah and i mean it works for an action figure and it works for reusing this body type but this is the first wave first foray into this the the Eskrima sticks they all fit the same way just be careful you put them in at normal i'm not a fan of this nightwing i really do like the head sculpt i think that's the best thing going for it and yeah the Eskrima sticks they fit in just nicely, nice weapon storage. But again, the costume is a little bit off. It was a little bit off when it was blue, right? Because it's supposed to be the better than Batman Nightwing. You do get some nice rotation out of the head. So again, the head sculpt works. It's sinister, it's creepy. I'll show you what I'm gonna use it for, the reason that I picked it up. The articulation, I don't think, I mean, while it works and you get some movement out of him, like, I said the very first time I looked at this figure in the blue version, his arms are wackadoo when it kind of goes up. I'm not a big fan of the wrists, his ab crunch, you know, you rotate up top and everything else. So again, the articulation isn't bad, but it's just the aesthetics of the figure. I always thought he has like a diaper thing kind of going on. And because I think it's the way he was posed, this side of that particular part of his costume is now permanently cinched up there. So... Yeah, that's what happens when it gets those pre-posed type, they're cool poses in the packaging, but then they can do warpage, stuff like that. Same thing with a flash that I have. Not a big fan of the ankles, either toe articulation. Yeah, I mean, it. it's all there, and I know a lot of people are very happy with this. I'll recommend it in the sense of if you're a completionist or you like the Jokerized type head, which is really what I like it for, because yeah, it's the same exact figure. The Joker is one doesn't have any blue in the hair, unfortunately. The rest, everything else is the same for this red version. Might be just a little bit darker red in some aspects, but I think it's just, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Same thing with the blue, different head sculpts right there just to show the differentiate between all three. I mean, I have all three, but yeah, I bought this one for the Jokerized head. Now, Bizarro, eh, this is where we get all kinds of awesome. When McFarlane showed this guy off, I go, yeah, that's a really cool looking Bizarro. He comes with the same hands, he's the same body type as the infected Superman. So that really cool, like, twisted, gnarled looking hand and then the fisted hand, which you can see on both. So you can swap them out and have them either which way. Don't forget the DC Multiverse stand, but that's a great looking head sculpt for Bizarro, right? Straight from Red Hood and the Outlaws, from the Rebirth. I think it works for what it is. And if you see, yeah, it's a different take, different look for Bizarro. Not one that I'm immediately like, oh, cool. Because I'm used to, like, comics or Superman the Animated Series. That's a great Bizarro. But I really like his hair on this. They got a nice little spit curl and everything else. He's kind of got that 1920s haircut to him. So it works. And I really like the cape, except for the fact of... You know, it's just like made in China right there. <laughs> the cape is awesome, though. From the backside, it's all torn and wrinkled. Everything, it works. 
He's got the same exact articulation as the infected Superman, but this really works for this particular type of character. And you really do get some decent movement out of him, especially in the shoulders with the butterfly joints. He's got double jointed elbows to him. The hands hide those ball joints that McFarlane uses a lot better than most. It's the same thing on some figures, you know. And then he twists at the waist. You do get a little bit of gappage right there towards the bottom of the waist. I wish he could crunch just a little bit forward. You know what I mean? Back, no problem at all. Side to side, he can do the splits. No thigh rotation, nothing like that. And they do, the legs work really well. Double jointed knees, nothing swivels other than the feet. And again, the ball joints are hidden really nicely with that toe articulation. The costume for this particular character is, I would say, just a tad bit off. Just in that sense, I think they nailed the head sculpt. I like the costume itself. It's different, but it's a bizarro costume I don't have on my shelf. So in that sense, it's cool. And you can really get him into that twisted sort of flying Superman type pose. But bizarro meets it on all aspects. I think that looks great. And I think you'll be happy. And just to kind of compare them side to side, yeah, see, this is the exact body type. Simple changes here and there. But yeah, same exact type. Like the cape. Uh, it's I, I, Both these capes are actually pretty cool. Much like the upcoming, like I'll show you with the Nightwing, the infected Superman. I use him more as like a zombie type Superman. You know, like deceased. In terms of scale, Capullo Batman is still taller than Bizarro. Bizarro and Infected Superman are both the same height as they should be. Red Hood, yeah, same as Nightwing. I just really don't care for the figure, but this is why I got him, because he's going to look good in my deceased zombie setup. I got all the Marvel zombies, I got the DC zombies, so I think it looks cool for that, even though that's really not what it is. So to kind of see them all together, we got Three Nightwings so far, two of these Supermans. I'd like to see a regular Superman on this particular body mold. I think that really works. For Bizarro, definitely recommend him. For Nightwing, you either got to be a huge fan or you just like the Joker eyes look. That's really it. I really can't recommend it past that. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Do you have them? Do you need to get them? Have you gotten Jon Stewart or any of the other new ones so far? Comment below, let me know, and let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to all these figures. Now, I know you'll say, why don't they just swap out the heads and everything else? Got to give them some time. They don't have the same range as years and years of molded, sculpted parts as Marvel Legends. So you got to do it to make up the cash in some instances just remember that once they get going, yeah, I think we'll be seeing a lot more than that. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.